Hey, love bucks, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support that you've been giving me as well as, you know, giving yourself. You know, we always should take time out for self-care, self-love, and self-meditation. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you get to know me. Um, even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with someone, uh, either a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath are going through some really dark times and they need confirmation and validation towards their soul purpose or even their life path please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to uh resonate with the content of my video and today i'm listening to um uh what is this healing um healing reiki music balancing chakras uh ben ben suri uh Flute music, meditation, relax mind, body, and soul. I mean, mind, uh, relax mind and body. That's what I'm going to say. And I will post that link in the description box, box below. Um, I suggest this one if you, um, this one because it's a 30 minute uh, uh, meditation video, you know, especially if you don't really have that much time to go ahead and meditate. It's always good to meditate at least about, you know, 15 to 30 minutes, you know, if you possibly can. Per day you know to be able to you know recycle your energy and my video today is about twin flame 101 hey oh you uh you have went through hell and back just so you could be able to help someone uh someone else to make it through as well you are i said because it is there's time when i first started my journey going through you know certain situations i used to get so angry with god and ask him you know i didn't deserve the things that i deserve i know there were certain things that you know i brought upon myself but why did i have to go through all this heart shape you know heartache and you know desperation and sadness you know um being you know having abusive family members all these different things that i had to go through and then it's like it's a beautiful moment like when i can speak to the universe especially like in between my videos i can finally say thank you i'm so grateful for everything that i've been through it really has taught me a lot you know being able to you know open that book of my story to be able to help others being able to see their situations they're in knowing that situation has a purpose behind it no matter how dark how matter how sad and brutal it is everything you have been through has a purpose for it you know and there's a lot of times i can't you know i don't understand how you know especially if it has something to do with you know dying you know there's a lot of times you know these people that have been cut out out of cut out of our lives you know and they they passed on or whatever they have this soul contract like they were supposed to be here for that certain situation and it wasn't supposed to be that long and it's, it can be very tragic to go through something like that bereavement and you know sorrow and grief you know that's very sad to go through and it's just like all my situations has really humbled me and blessed me in so many different ways on so many different levels and volumes. I'm grateful for it. Yeah, it's a sad situation. I never got a chance to meet my grandparents on my mom, on my dad's side. Um, I don't even, and it's crazy because I'm able to have communication with my um, my grandmother on my dad's side, my grandma Maddie, uh, and my grandfather John. You know, I speak to them a lot, you know, and it's just a blessing to be able to do that. And it's just like, you know, I guess because they were my parents at one time, but I wasn't, you know, I didn't make it on that term. So I think that's the reason why I'm so close with them. Because I always just ask the universe, how come I'm not able to speak to my grandparents on my, my mom's side, but I'm able to speak to my grandparents, you know, on my dad's side. But I guess, you know, because it would allow me to see my past life. You know, you were that twin that didn't make it. That's why they're so close to you that way. And I said, oh, okay, I get it. But 
you know, I went through a lot of hell, you know, being able to experience the thing I experienced, like I tell people, if you truly know the things that I've gone through, I've opened up and let you see the dark things that I've been through, the things I've experienced in life, the things that have taught me, the things I've healed from, you know, I'm still a work in progress, I'm still healing along the way, but it's just like when I tell people you truly deserve happiness, things that did not be placed in your life for you to stay in that that dark place and so you know to be constantly reliving that you know that traumatic situation in your life over on replay you know you're supposed to you know yes these things just happen yes these things have hurt you in so many different ways and you know that's unfortunate but it's just like you deserve to be happy you know you shouldn't dwell on the things that happen into your life you know, I try not to dwell on things like that because, you know, I had to go through that major heartbreak. I had to go through that breakdown of so many things that allowed me to appreciate that I can be able to help others in that way. Because there's so many people that have came across me and they're grateful for me to be able to be open about the things that I've experienced. You know, I, you know I'm not a perfect person. Who is? I can be open about my addictions that I had around my life. Shoot, if I didn't have no addictions towards my life with everything I've been through, I must be very powerful. But those, you know, I had addictions because I wasn't able to, you know, deal with the things that have been placed in my life. I've been exposed to a lot of things growing up. And I had to grow up very quickly of having children very young. So, you know, being able to do that and... You know, my kids can be able to appreciate certain things. You know, there are certain things also they're still healing from as well as I am too. And being able to make videos and not feeling ashamed. Because at first, when I first started my videos, I was worried about how people would take me. Um, would they believe me or not on certain situations, especially from who I'm related to? Um, will they get that? Will they understand it? You know, because a lot of people that are fan of my dad's music and stuff like that, you know, um, my dad was a very strong person, but, you know, behind closed doors, he cried a lot. You know, he wasn't a happy person, but he didn't allow those things to be projected for people to see because he was very private. You know, there's times I used to cry knowing my dad went through the things he had to go through and knowing the things he knew. You know, it really, you know, upset me because I, you know, when it comes to my dad, I hate to see my dad unhappy. And that really got me. You know, it really had me in my feelings at, at a long, you know, a long time because I used to hold guilt on myself from me not meeting him when I did. But I, had, you know, he keeps telling me it's not your fault, you know, that you didn't do that. You know, they weren't being honest with you about your situation. That You know, my family wasn't being honest with me about my situation. My mother was, but not her husband, her ex-husband and his wife. They weren't. So I, I held that guilt for a long time. I beat myself up for a long time for that, especially after he passed away, because I never had that, you know, that physical connection with him. But I know there's uh, there's things that is not seen. There's uh, I, I got a big bigger picture towards that. So I just keep healing. I don't understand everything that's going down my life path or how it's supposed to lead me, but I know I'm being positive about it. You know, I know there's things that is not being said. There's things that I'm, I'm not allowed to see yet, but, you know, being able to live that way and being able to, you know, my, my dad's helping me in that spirit world since he's passed away, you know, uh, it's a blessing for me to be able to still, you know, be able to communicate with him on that spiritual world. You know, even though we didn't get to meet on this plane and being able to be blessed to be able to talk to my grandparents as well as my adopted mom and my sister, you know, um, because I didn't really see it in that way I did, you know. So it was just like, oh, my God, why did you take all these people out of my life that truly cared about me, truly loved me? You know, I felt like I didn't really have any family anymore and I didn't have anybody to turn to. And that's a hurt, hurtful feeling where you, you want to go to your immediate family for comfort when I really didn't have that. You know, I had to be able to give my comfort within myself. I was never able to grieve. You know, um, it was always told to me, get over it. You know, no matter if I lost a best friend. You know, I lost a best friend as soon as I moved down to the South in Georgia. I lost two of my best friends in the same year. And only just a few months apart. And I had nobody to grieve to. You know, I couldn't really talk to my kids about it because they held them dear. So that was really sensitive to them. So I couldn't really talk to them about it because they wouldn't understand anyway. But, you know, being able to know 
that I was able to heal myself, being able to see that it's okay to cry it out. Um, there's a lot of things I had to keep to myself, you know, and it was like, how do I go through life like this? You know, I couldn't really grieve. I couldn't really be happy because my family made sure that they, you know, they made sure, oh, you, you only can experience happiness every once in a while. We want to see you tortured. We want to see you down. And it's just like when it's sad when people do that, you know, why would you want to project that, especially on your daughter, you know, and that was really hard for me to go through. And being able to say that, you know, even though I wish, I don't wish that on anybody and it still hurts a little bit, but it's just the fact is it gave me strength as well. You know, not wanting to cry over, even though I feel like crying, I don't want to cry because it's just like this situation has taught me so much strength. It gave me love even when I didn't feel it from other people at that time being able to know my dad's there you know spiritually with me every day that's the big blessing out of it knowing that we had that connection uh all the time you know even when he, they tried to keep him away from me you know he was still able to contact me throughout my dreams and you know the, my my uh, adopted father and i mean well my mom's husband i really try not to call him that uh, my mom's ex-husband and his wife tried to make sure that he couldn't do that either because they thought it was crazy anyway, but they knew I wasn't lying about certain things and they knew he was telling me these things through my dreams and so they stopped that as well. And it's just a blessing that I went through this situation, was able to still contact him through that spirit world, being on the spiritual ground to be able to do that. So it's just like a lot of us go through things and we don't understand you know why we had to go through these things certain things had to happen on our path for us to be able to experience trauma but also being able to heal from it like i've told y'all before your situation can either make you or break you but it's not there to break you you know and i you know i don't understand why you had to go through certain things well you know say that this had to happen to you or whatever because there's a lot of people i know that's been molested you know all these different things and that's a hurtful situation to have to go through i you know I was womanized and I went through, I, I've been in assaults like that where certain things has happened and I don't blame God for it. You know, it just allowed me to heal in so many different ways and I don't suppress it. I just don't even think about it anymore. You know, just not wanting to see anybody else go through that situation, but being able to open my life up to you to let you know, even though hurtful things has came across your path that, you know, I really am sorry that you went through that, you know. But I send that healing vibe towards you, that uplifting vibe to let you know you can rise above all this darkness that's been placed in your life. You can rise above the heartache and pain that you experience because you have love and joy out there. You just have to be able to feel it, look, look forward to it. When you can manifest that, you'll have the people that you know can gravitate towards you uh, and allow you to be able to feel that from them. You know, when you when you can love yourself, you you will attract that love towards. Other, from other people and I have to learn that love myself because there's things that has happened in my life that I know if this wouldn't happen if I loved myself a little bit more you know and I'm grateful for those experiences I learned so much from those experiences I never wish that these things didn't happen because if they didn't I wouldn't have been able to see the capability of the strength I have within inside of me that I can project towards other people and it's a blessing you know when I can get that validation from others to allow me to, they, they tell me, Roslyn, I wouldn't have been able to see the things within myself, the strength I really had for myself if you wouldn't have put, put these videos out. I wouldn't be able to love myself a lot more if you weren't able to put these videos out. And that's where my blessing comes in. And then I see the purpose. If I never experienced these things, I wouldn't have been able to help the people that I helped. You know, even if me and them don't even cross paths anymore or we broke away, you have learned something from the relationship. You know, we might not talk anymore or anything like that, but at least you can say, you know what, even though we don't talk anymore, she allowed me to help me see the things within myself I, I wasn't paying attention to or I was scared to, you know, open that that situation up to myself. A lot of people don't, you know, when they see themselves as a white witch, they, you know, when people see themselves as witches, they obviously think about black magic, you know, curses, voodoo and stuff like that. It's all about what your intentions are. You know, my, my family, we go back. You know, my family, especially on my dad's side, they come from the bayou. 
you know, deep in Louisiana, you know, or Creole. And a lot of people, when they see Creole people, they deal with magic. You know, they deal with hoodoo, voodoo, uh, santeria, different things like that. But it just depends on what side it is. It's either the good or the bad, the white or the dark. You know, it's just, but my family dealt with that. So it's just like all the things I'm glad I was able to heal from, learn from, know from, so I can be able to educate other people as they educate me. You know, knowing, you know, things that I project out, I want to be able to pro project out love give you that help you get that self-love for yourself have that self-confidence in yourself to know that whatever has been placed upon you you can set yourself free from that it's not meant for you to have to constantly keep going through those things especially if you're not dealing with the people that project those things out towards you you have to be able to let that go so you can live the life you were truly supposed to live and that's enjoying happiness and serenity and peace you know those are the things that you're entitled to you just have to believe in yourself and believe that you can no longer keep walking around in this dark path not allowing yourself to live in misery because you're not meant to go through all that at you know things happen for you to be able to learn live and let go you know and i had to learn that for myself and it's just like you know when things does not happen the way it happened i get it you know it's not because of other people even though that has happened you know with people praying upon me but there's a lot of things you know because if you can pray upon somebody but if you don't believe that you're allowing those people to do that you know they can't do anything they really can't and plus if you're not telling them nothing they can't you know pray upon that as well so know that everything happens to you is a learning experience everything that happens to you you know um you can learn from heal from you know you just have to be able to give yourself that chance so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. This is already 16 minutes long, so I'm not doing an outro. So much love to you. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line. And like I said, if uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to do this Facebook thing for Hey Okas for you to be able to post a lot of different things. I forgot to do that the last two videos, but I'm doing it on this one as well. Uh, drop me a line and let me know that you, you think that's a good idea. And you would love to join because it's just like it's an open forum for people to ask for advice, to share your experiences, uh, different links, you know, posts, you know, anything that's positive, anything that can be a learning experience. I would really love to be able to do that. And I will talk to you on my next video. So much love to you. Peace. Be wild.